Hey everyone! I know that you're used to Chris doing these videos, but today you get me. So Chris got a few new gadgets for the Tesla and he wanted me to take a look at them and give you my thoughts on them. And to be honest, I don't know a whole lot about these things or how to install them, so we're going to figure it out together. Let's get started. I was told that I needed to unbox these products. So, check out this box. Pretty, uh, pretty standard. Does its job of boxing things. And we got some bubble wrap. It's pretty fancy. This thing isn't gonna get scratched or anything. Oh, by the way, all of these products are in the link that's in the description below. And to get 20% off of these products, use the code DIRTYTESLA20. Dun, da, da, da. Consider yourself unboxed. Okay, so this little gadget, so I'm told, goes underneath this arm console thing, and it goes up in there. So, I'm hoping you can see that. So, it does have this uh, red tape here, and if you remove that red tape, then there's sticky stuff behind it. Now, Chris does not like to have sticky stuff in his car, because if you ever wanted to remove it, it could leave a sticky residue. So it just depends on how attached you are to this product, if you know for sure you want to leave it in forever or not. So, Chris strictly told me, leave the red sticky tape on. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's see. How does this thing go? Probably should make sure it's not backwards. Okay, I think we got it. If I could figure it out, anyone can. Now you have this top secret compartment up in your arm console and nobody will ever think to look there. And you can stick all sorts of secret things in there like secret money or secret gum. Don't tell Chris. I could put like chocolate or something in here and hide it in here and then if I'm ever in Chris's car I can eat it for a snack and he'll be like where'd that come from? The secret compartment. All right so that was product number one. We'll call that the arm console thingy. Next up is this bag of black plastic. To be honest, I totally forget what it is. Oh, this is for the glove box. This is an organizer for your glove box. So let's see. It's not even opened yet. It's not in a box. So we can't unbox it. We'll unbag it. Here is piece number one. Nice piece of plastic. Is another piece of plastic and another piece of plastic. They do have numbers on them. They're making it very easy. And here's another plastic piece. So let's see here. It's hard to tell, but there's a number one right here. And on this piece of plastic, there's also a number one. So I'm guessing this goes in the number one spot. So let's can't be, ah, there we go. Just needed a little extra push. I gotta, this is, this is challenging. Ah, there we go. You gotta wait till it snaps and pops and clicks into place. Okay, and here, number two, number two. We're gonna slide that into place. And pop it. Ah, there. All right, we got that. And this, this doesn't have a number, but neither does this. So that must be where it goes. So we'll stick it down there like so. This is a tough one, guys. Hmm. That doesn't, that's not fitting right. There's too big of a gap. Ah! Okay. 
you know what? Maybe the glove box organizer doesn't need this third piece. Ow. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not strong enough. So you got two things here. All right, so let's check out the glove box. Glove box. How does this open? Do you need to push a button on the car? I'm calling Chris. Hello. Hi, um, how do I open the glove box? <laughs> Did you put that in the video? I'm recording right now. <laughs> um, it's on the, well, you can click the button, the right button on the steering wheel, and say open glove box. Try it, see if it works. Open glove box. I don't think it's doing any, oh, it, it glove box came up on the screen. Oh, there, I did it. Sweet. So maybe it was right here on the screen the whole time and I just missed it because I'm blind. So here's the glove box. Let's take all this stuff out. And it's kind of dark. Everything's black in this car. I have no idea how this goes. Now we're on to something. Does it maybe go like this and then you stick stuff in there? Yes. Okay, we figured it out. So we'll put, you know, your important papers and thingamajigs there. You got Tesla manual that goes on the top. And that's it fits right in there. Now I'm gonna let Chris finish up this video and do everything the correct way. So, thanks for watching. So I've been using these things for a few days. I hope you enjoyed Stephanie's install and initial impressions. I thought it would be fun to include her. So before I get to my thoughts on these, I just wanna say thanks to my newest patron, Varen. There are a couple more of you coming up. You'll be a couple videos out. Sorry that the lighting is pretty crappy. I don't really have a chance to do this in daylight in the winter, uh, really only in the summer it stays light out long enough. But anyway, I've been driving around with this stuff for a few days, so let's check it out. Uh, first, we'll start with this secret storage. You can't even see it. It's so secret. Um, I'm actually really liking this. And so what I did to test it out, as you know, we didn't use the sticky stuff. I didn't take the double-sided tape off. I just don't want to stick it in there in case I want to remove it. Um, but what I did is, if you look in here, I'm going to make sure you can see, I put uh, three is in here now. I actually put four uh, C batteries in there because I figured this is probably heavier than really anything else you're going to be putting in there. Um, and with four C batteries on the first day, like the end of the first day, it did fall out. So I took one C battery out and I put three C batteries in here. And you can see that it's still in. I've been driving around for, I think it's three days now with the three C batteries in there. And it has not fallen out without the sticky stuff. So if you do take that tape off, which I'm going to be honest, I really think I'm going to do it because I like this so much. I don't think I'm going to take it out. But as of this video, I have not taken that tape off, but I think I'm going to. I really do. Um, but so you can see here, if I close this even forcefully, we have no problems. You know, it's still in there perfectly. Again, I know I'm sorry it's dark, but it is flush. Um, I have no problems moving the little door and all of that. So now I can actually just take these out. I don't need these batteries in here anymore. A few of them fell out because I had the door open uh, while I was slamming it like that. But um, this is really cool. I This is such a great idea. I never even noticed that was up there. Um, so unless you've seen this video, it's a secret. Okay, so let's check out the glove box next. I wanted to use wide angle, but I can't use wide angle and my zoom. Um, so if I open the glove box really quick, you can see I have a bunch of stuff in here and it really hasn't moved. I'll show you a picture. I set all this up and then I took a picture of it so you can see the picture of before. And then this is what it looks like now. And it fits a good amount of stuff. So Stephanie um, didn't realize that this middle piece um, actually goes on the top instead of with these two bottom pieces. Uh, so I came out and actually it was really difficult to get in there. But now that it's in there, no big deal. What I did notice is with it set up the proper way, your manuals don't fit in the glove box anymore. And you know, the user manual is available uh, on your screen over here. So you don't really need the actual book, but I do like to have the towing and roadside assistance manual, which is this, um, because it has directions in it on how to tow and stuff like that. If you're in an emergency situation, you may be forgetful, even if you know this stuff, you may be panicking a little bit. Um, and if the person doesn't know how to do it, you don't know how to do it. You don't want to be like looking up YouTube videos and stuff. So I'm keeping this in the center uh, console because I want to always have this on me. But the actual book, the actual owner's manual I took out though, because if you don't know, you can access that by hitting the T at the top of the screen here. So if we just 
you know, pretend I didn't hit that, hit that. And then down here is owner's manual. You can click that. Um, and you can access the entire owner's manual right in the car. But anyway, I'm loving this shelf. I love the organization. Of course, I'm not going to actually keep these things in here, but I did it just to see, you know, if this thing was flimsy and would get jostled around with heavy things in it. Um, but I kept everything right where I put it, uh, even the heavy stuff. So this is awesome and I really like it. So overall, a big thumbs up for me. These seem pretty high quality. Uh, I really enjoy the extra organization in the car. If you have any questions on something about them I maybe didn't cover, just leave them in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and you will see me in the next video.